Okay, so I'm working through my 2007 algebra-based physics final exam that I wrote in 2007, uh, just to see how I've changed and how the questions changed and, and just to solve them. Uh, so here I am on number three, let's just get to it. And I'm gonna read it to you because it's kind of hard to see. A 60 kilogram pilot is in an airplane that is traveling at 50 meters per second and flying in a vertical circle. Okay, so I drew a picture, look at my plane. You like that? Not the best plane, but I drew it myself with a 400 meter radius. So let's just put some stuff in here. That's 400 and this is 50 meters per second. And the, and the pilot's in there too, right there, 60 kilograms. What is the pilot's apparent weight normal force when the plane is at this position indicated? So let's draw the forces. I have the persons right there. I have the gravitational force mg, and then I have the normal force up. And I already know that the normal force is gonna be lower than the weight. So I drew it that way. But if you didn't know, it's fine. Uh, this idea of apparent weight being equal to the normal force, um, I think I covered it fairly well, but um, you know, something I wouldn't really put on a test and expect students to know offhand, but I, I did say normal force, so that's, that's fine. And the plane is upright. Uh, that's important too, because uh, that means that it implies at least, I could have done the problem wrong, that the force is pushing up like this, right? If you're upside down, then the force would be pushing down. So we can use our normal, let's call this the xy axis. And I can say F net Y equals M A Y. And since this is moving at 50 meters per second, but traveling in a circle, then it would be accelerating this way, right? So the acceleration of a thing moving in a circle is going to be V squared over R. I'll use capital R. And it's towards the center of the circle, so that would be a negative acceleration in the negative y direction at this instant. So let's put in what we have, the net force in the y direction I have n, then I have minus mg, and that's gonna to equal to m negative m v squared over r. And what do I wanna solve for? I wanna solve for n. So let's say n, I'll just add mg to both sides, mg minus m v squared over r. I know m, I know g, I know v squared, I know r, so I just need to put in my values. Okay, let's do that in Python. So again, that's my stuff from the last problem. I'm just gonna delete that. I don't need to save all this stuff. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. m equals 60, r equals 400, g equals 9.8, and then, uh, what did I say? V equals 50. Uh, so I get, let's just solve for it. N equals, I'm just gonna type my equation, M times G minus M times V squared over R. Print N. 213 Newtons. Uh, let's do this. Uh, print M times G and let's print uh, n divided by m times g, just for fun. So 588 is the weight of the person, 213 is the apparent weight. So that's uh, 30, oh, I see what I did wrong. I wanted to get the percent, so I need to put a parentheses around this, because that's divided by m times g. And there's an error, because I left off a parenthesis. So that's 36% of a person's actual weight. Um, is this a good question? I mean, it's, it, it's an okay question, right? Uh, I don't think it's bad. You know, you have to know this, this, uh, and you have to know this apparent weight thing. I, I think it's okay, it's, it's a pretty easy question. Uh, maybe a better thing would be, you know, what's the difference between up and down? But, but again, my philosophy, and this, this goes back to 2007, is is to not give tricky or complicated questions, right? I'm just trying to test, this is, a, this is a final exam, it's already stressful. I just want to test and see what they understand uh, in as little amount of space as I can. And this would be easy to grade. So, okay, we'll do another question on the next video.